This video is for those people that are about to travel or have traveling plans in the future, like me. I'll show you some simple tips and tricks that can help you not only save money, but also make traveling stress-free. Tip number one, pack light. Instead of checking in a bag, use a duffel bag or a small carry-on. This will prevent you from having to pay up to $25 or more, depending on which airline you're traveling on and also how many bags you check in. You can fit just as many things, especially if you know how to pack. Tip number two, keep on rolling. Roll your clothes instead of folding them. This will not only save you space, but will prevent wrinkles. Tip number three, be organized. Keep smaller items in plastic bags so they won't be floating around in your bag. And if they're not see-through, you can always label them, like this one. Also, make sure to bring extra bags for dirty clothes. Tip number four, good things come in small packages. So buy in travel size. This will not only save space, but also prevent you from having to deal with the new regulations. And if you want to recycle, you can use bottles that are three ounces or less and label them with whatever you put in them. Tip number five, keep it solid. These bath products are liquid and are too big to fit in your carry-in. So if they exist in solid form, buy that instead. This will not only save you time, but energy. Tip number six, be a diva, use a big purse. This will allow you to put more things in your purse than you normally would. And you won't have to check in a bag. Preferably, pick a bag you can put on your shoulder. This will free up your hands and you'll be able to carry other things like your ticket, your boarding pass, or any food that you might have. It will also be less overwhelming. Tip number seven, slip right in. Wear comfortable shoes like flip-flops or flats that you don't have to lace up or buckle. Buckling and laces can take up more time at the security checkpoint. Tip number eight, be electronically savvy. Keep all electronic devices in one place. And don't forget to bring your chargers and any other accessories you might need. Tip number nine, ID and passport ready. Keep your ID or passport and your boarding pass in a place where you can easily access it, like your pocket. Tip number 10, pack your own lunch. Airlines have started charging for food, so it would be wise to pack your own lunch, like a sandwich or anything portable, like a granola bar or chips. Make sure you don't bring any liquid on board or anything that might smell too bad. And you can never go wrong with a bag of cereal. Tip number 11, keep your delicates safe. When packing, make sure that if you have any delicate items that you're gonna carry on, that you fold them and put in a separate plastic bag. That way, they won't get wrinkled or damaged by the movement in the bag. Tip number 12, plan ahead. Make sure you email yourself all the important things you'll need on your trip, like important phone numbers, departure time, and if you don't have a computer or a phone that can access the internet, make sure you write it down. You can never go wrong with pen and paper. Tip number 13, relax. It's gonna be a long flight, or maybe not, but traveling can be stressful. So make sure you bring a pillow, a book to read, or if you listen to music, an iPod or an MP3 player. Tip number 14, priority mail. Once you're at your destination, you'll probably want to buy souvenirs for your friends, but that can be costly and you might come back with more than you brought. So instead, use the mail. Mail it to your home or wherever else you need to mail it to. The post office has different sized boxes you can fill up for a flat rate. Hope these come in handy. I'll have more information on my blog and 
other websites that might be helpful to you. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.